Hello there and welcome to the land of Netlogo. You have been have you've been having some trouble. You need your turtles to own something. Well, here you here you go. Turtles own. It is that simple. Turtles hyphen own, hy bracket what and whatever variable you desire. Now in this case, turtles own points. Now to show you what I mean, let's get rid of this. Let's inspect turtle zero. Turtle Zero is a sheep. He is still a turtle. So, he owns points. Now, since these flowers are also turtles, they own points as well. Although, I only want my sheep to have this variable change. Let's go to code. You see this block, this ask turtles with? Essentially, if there are any flowers within one unit of sheep, the sheep will increase its points by 10. So not like a steady increase, but like it'll be 10, 20, 30, etc. Although, these flowers will not all stay there. There's a hundred of them and five of them. That'd be a lot of points and the simulation would never end. So this ask turtles with here, if there are any flowers within one unit of sheep, the flowers will die and then the go and then the sheep will gain their 10 points and once there's no flowers left the simulation will stop now we we have, we already have one turtle watched let's watch him and watch as the simulation goes and let's see how many points he gets and then compare the amount of points he gets to his friends now as you can see like as i said there's 100 flowers and 5 sheep so that's an even amount of 20 per sheep. Although, given the directions they go in and the placement of the flowers, since the flowers and sheep are put at random coordinates on the map, then that will not always be the case. So it will compare him to all his friends and see which ones are greedy and which ones actually care. Turtle 3. He has 250. He has had more than his fill. He has had one quarter of the flowers that were in our world. Turtle 1 is slightly below, so he's a little bit hungry, but he'll live. Turtle 2. He is at 150. He is only at se he is only at 75% fullness. Turtle 4, 220. He has had a little bit over his fill, so he won't be hungry for a while. But as you can see that, because of the random directions and the random placement of turtles, that these values will always differ. Unless you set them in a specific way, they will not, they will not all have 200. Now, <laughs> let's, go, let's go to our code real quick, because hey I want my turtles to own more than just points let's say that since I'm doing a field maybe the goats should earn should also own hunger now let's go back to our interface as you can see now every turtle owns two variables points and hunger although the amount of variables that you can put is not limited to two you can literally put anything Now they all own one, two, three, four, five. They all own six variables. Pretty simple stuff, eh? Although sometimes you just want the one, depending on how complicated you want your simulation to be. Now, this can be used for many different things. You want to simulate cows in a field, goats on a mountainside, or let's say even a simple market. I did a simulation with a simple market with two turtles own variables money and goods as the people walk by the stores the store would lose goods but gain money and the people vice versa they would lose money and gain goods and <clears throat> while it was kind of it was a complicated thing I did use two variables for turtle zone although having two variables for turtle zone means that you would have to have more of these now, 
Having more of that would mean more work, although you can just copy paste it and put in the new things. But anyways, let's do a quick recap. Turtle turtle zone in turtle zone. It allows turtles to own a specific variable. That variable is to be left for the user to define. And it can be literally anything you want as long as it's able to be varied. Although the program will not ding you for anything that can't be a variable, such as the word put anything you want. So, use it wisely. Don't use too many because there are some variables that could be left as globals, which will be explained in another tutorial. So, I hope you guys found this informative and I hope you understand it. So, have fun adventuring the land of NetLogo. Bye-bye.